Okay, welcome to another edition of my gear reviews. Um, sorry for the big delay, I accidentally ripped a tendon in my arm. Don't know if you can see the scar there, but uh, don't recommend you do that. Uh, and that has caused a bit of a delay. So today we're going to be looking at the Line 6 Roto machine. Um, this is a very cool pedal, very underrated uh, and starting to become very hard to find. Um, thanks for all the comments and feedback, I'm not going to play as much in this video, we'll start talking about more of the gear in a second uh, and that way you get to see more of what's going on. So, <clears throat> very straightforward pedal, uh, it's got speed adjustments, fast and slow for each setting, a drive and a blend setting between the horn and the drum, uh, that's it, drum, anyway, needs dusted too. There's three different settings, there's a 145, an L16 and an L22. Um, fast, medium and slow um, but these were part of a series where you can actually take these modules out using these allen keys and replace them into another pedal so if you find the module but you don't have the casing or you have another pedal like it you can actually swap it into it without any problems whatsoever and I'll demo that shortly um, steady win steady out the switch is very cool as well, so I'm just going to pop this for a second here, if I can. So underneath the switch is not just a click-click, it has a slow, which allows you to do the gradient of the tone as you play. So it's got a gradual and then click. Okay, let me swap out that module for you. Okay, so to get into the module, very straightforward. There's two Allen screws on the back. Take an Allen key. Undo it gently. Same for the other one. So far, so good. Take those out. As you can see, they're not terribly big screws. Take that one out too. Try not to lose it. And with the end of your Allen key, you just push this in, and that pops the module. And out it comes. So as you can see, it's almost like a ROM cartridge for a games console. The brains are in here, and as I say, these are completely interchangeable. There are mono and stereo ones of these out there, I think, from memory. Uh, but that's it. All there is to it. I'm going to put a link in the description to some of the demos online that will play it a hell of a lot better than I will. But absolutely worth checking out. On next week's episode, we're going to look at the Fender Blues Junior 3. And we'll be tearing that down, having a quick look inside it, and hearing how it sounds. Thanks for watching. So actually it's going to be easier if you go and check out PJ and the Beards because they have a very, very cool video. I'll put the link in the description below, but here's what it looks like. Hope you guys enjoy.